It's book review time. <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> Okay, we'll Welcome to over. this week's Wait, book review wait. time. Can you wait? Oh, please, my Amy, gosh. Amy's here with her books. It took a little while. It's not the Matthew show. That's right. <laughs> Thank God. <sighs> so we're here to talk about our favorite book finds this week. They're not always current books, but they're certainly books that we find inspirational and fun. Yeah. So we, I have so many books, and a lot of my favorites are older books, and they're still, you know, worthy of... Uh, right. I mean, they're still filled with great information. So what have you brought to share this week? All right. Well, I brought two books. A lot of people know my decorating style is a little bit romantic. And this is a pretty old book by Selena Lake. Um, and I just loved the images in here. It is very romantic. It's a little bit um, rustic. And you will see a little boho. But let's just flip through here. Wow. A lot of fun things. Yeah, a lot of white living um a lot of uh floral like isn't this like i love that and these look like your chairs yeah and it looks, looks like identical. my chandelier yeah and my french doors wow we should so, write to selena lake and have her come shoot your house okay yeah good idea <laughs> so um anyway that's i really love this book by selena lake uh romantic style she has a lot of other books too that i like as well nice well i brought uh one of my favorites it's called decorate it's by holly becker of the Decorate blog. Um, she's been a friend and supporter of mine for a long time. And I like this book because it's just, it's filled with lots of decorating lessons and ideas and just tons and tons of beautiful props and ways of styling things. And they, they really break it down for you on, on the lessons and how to do the work. So it's a lot um, of practical uh, design guidelines there right and lots of color and modern mix of furniture and mm -hmm. just lots of stuff and one of the greatest things is that i was actually quoted in this book oh, which is very here nice we go. <laughs> so i just thought i'd read that i'm actually i'm on page 267 and i have i guess been known to say silverware and stemware needn't come from one set in fact multiple styles and colors are more interesting and catch the attention of guests mini flower arrangements personalize the space and make a guest feel engaged matthew mead designer, designer. yeah so nice. that was that was one of my all-time faves yeah and quite the highlight yeah <laughs> well um speaking of uh, other designers and you know asking for a photo shoot this designer is coming to shoot my house. Oh, wow. I think you just one-upped me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just happen to love Phoebe O'Neill. She does, um, she's editor of quite a few magazines, but she came out with this book, and I think this was her first book. It's just reissued now, so it has a different co cover, but it's the same book, Romantic Prairie Style. And it has some of my favorite bloggers. Their homes are photographed in here. And um, you'll see a lot of farmhouse style. The prairie style is a little bit farmy, and um, you know it's kind of current right now. Yeah, it's very nice. It has a lot of romantic touches, but it's also um, kind of utilitarian yeah. and clean and right. It's, it's um, she breaks it down into different, you know, the romantic prairie. Then there's the rustic prairie and cool and things like that. So I really like this book a lot. It's one of the ones that I get inspiration to uh, from often. And you're going to be hosting Fifi, so that's and pretty exciting. And then she's going to come and shoot my house. So. Really? So that's nice. Yeah, that's very nice. Well, this is a food book. This is by Donna Hay, who's my daughter. <laughs> Just kidding. I was trying to one-up you. <laughs> um, but what I love about it is that it's not just really about food, but it's about how to style food and how to make your food look really beautiful. So there's lots of like different ideas on plating and what to cook in and how to bake things. And it's just a really, really beautiful book. There's popovers, which are my favorite. Yeah. This book came out last fall. Um, her books are always really, really popular and successful. So is it a cookbook? It is a cookbook, but uh, it's just it's an artsy cookbook. Yes. And she's from Australia. So it has just a, a little fresher, more modern edge than most American cookbooks. Yeah. But it's one of my favorite books. And of course, as a photographer, all the images are inspiring to me. So. Yeah, it yeah. looks beautiful. It is, and it's got these great stickers in the back, which I really love. What so. do you do with them? Well, um, they say, like, weekends, oh. try this, and you, you stick it on the oh, different pages of your favorite recipes. All right, neat. Yeah, so it is. It's a great, 
It's well, a he's cook. a big foodie. I kind of go in the kitchen and just whip things up, but you always come up with these really elaborate dishes. Well, and I, I guess I feel about food that it's not really, it doesn't necessarily have to be about what the food is, but more about the presentation. So it's just, it's kind of an extension. It's like my tabletop decorating ideas for food. So, yeah. yeah. So I'm glad you were able to join us this week for our great book reviews, and I'm sure we'll have more next time. Yeah, we have tons of books to review with you. Great. So see you later. Oh, bit like I'm taking hold out. Like, Jeez, it's happening. I know. <laughs> There's like no time. Okay. I think just like six inches. Is that better? That's better. Right. Are you getting like blinded by the sun? No. Blinded by the light. No, I'm Caught up I'm with the deuce in you. <laughs> and I'm sad. <laughs>